803, you want to bring the latest now on the investigation into that gas leak from last night in Providence. All roads that were closed overnight have been reopened. Take a listen to what the gas leak sounded like last night. You can just uh, hear there how loud and intense the leak was from that video. People reporting smelling the gas leak from miles away. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you one Franklin Square. That's where crews were out all night working to fix that ruptured gas line after they were finally able to shut down the leak. Rosie Woods has been on the scene now for a couple of hours. What's the latest, Rosie? Hey guys, good morning. Well, as you can see behind me, Allen's Ave is already very busy this morning and just about 445 this morning is when it reopened. But now we're seeing a lot of cars coming back and forth morning commute. And you're not going to be hearing any of that noise you were hearing last night. You're not going to be smelling any of the smells you're smelling last night. As of now, you wouldn't even know that something happened here, except for the fact that we're here telling you about it. Now, just to backtrack a little bit, highways surrounding the area of Allen's Avenue and Eddie Street were closed for hours last night, starting around 830 as officials responded to a natural gas leak in Providence. Now, the Providence Fire Department confirms the leak was at a national grid take station at Franklin Square. The leak was coming from an underground steel pipe, and during a news conference update from the scene at about 11 o'clock last night, officials said that the leak was caused by a mechanical equipment failure. So anytime something like that happens, we isolate valves that feed into that to shut it down and then to assess what's happening out there. Fortunately, no injuries have been reported, but again, we are still waiting for National Grid to explain to us what exactly that mechanical failure was and what they mean by that. But they do say this morning that nothing that happened last night will affect service today. Live at the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.